Hi, this is Gary with Brewbox. Today I've got a couple tips and tricks videos for you. Uh, we're going to go through some of the software functionality and uh, some of the neat features built within the software that many people aren't aware of. Uh, here I'm going to show you a little bit about the software functionality. Uh, what I want to talk about today is the manual versus automatic brew mode that you can see right here. There's often misconceptions of what that is. In a nutshell, if you're a user of BrewBoss, 99% of the time you will use automatic mode. You will not be using the manual brew mode. Uh, this process or the, this menu used to be called auto step mode. And what this really dictates is this that does not mean I want to brew manually and not use BrewBoss. Um, what it means is to either manually or automatically step to the next step in the brew process. So with the select step to start line, you can start anywhere within your current step file uh, by picking one of the, the uh, items, okay? And what the automatic mode does is it basically just tells you that when in automatic mode, it will automatically, once it finishes one step, move to the next step, which is the normal operation which you want to use almost every time. The only reason manual step mode or manual brew mode is used is when you're testing or trying out your step files to make sure they work or you're in a brew session and you don't want something to move to the next one without you validating something is correct. So it's used more in designing your step files as opposed to using them. And to, to exemplify what it does here, I'm going to set select manual brew mode. I am going to select a step here. Uh, place cover, it's the first step. Place cover on kettle and then open the valve. When finished, press the green start key. Okay, so now to move this to the next step, I'm going to hit the start key, indicating that I've done this. When I'll, now that I'm in manual brew mode, it will not automatically move to the next step. As you can see, nothing happened. So now what I'm going to do is show you automatic brew mode. Okay, with the automatic brew mode, when I select a step to start, Place cover on kettle. When finished, press the green start key. And I press the start button. Heating to mash temperature of 150 degrees for first mash step. Okay, as you can see, it's automatically gone through that process of moving from one step to the other. So if I force this, I will change the set point here. And this is another good point. You can change the set point at any time to think it's there. Maintaining mash temperature of 150 degrees for first mash step. Okay, as Please you lay out hops and proof yeast. So as you can see, it actually uh, moved to the next step in automatic mode. So for most purposes, you'll never, never, ever want to set that to manual. It's caused more confusion uh, than anything else on the software. So I'm going to stop brewing here. Now I've stopped, and I want to show you some of the manual functionality that you may not know exists within BrewBoss. The number one thing that you can do is set a timer. Very simple thing, you can set a timer, it's a roll timer in minutes. Uh, I can easily set a timer. You can see we've got a one minute timer, it'll just simply at the end tell you that the timer is expired. So you can use that as a manual timer if you're not using brew steps. As I showed before, you can also manually select the step that you want to start at within your brew step file. Um, you can manually turn the heater on, you can manually adjust the power level of the heater, so you can do this without actually being in a brew step or calculating anything. Turn the heater on, turn the heater off, or you can just set your power level to the heating element manually and you can run your kettle like that uh, without using a brew step file. Same thing with the pump, you can turn that on and off. Another nice feature a lot of people don't know about is you can use the target temperature to have brew boss just hold a temperature for you. So let's say you're gonna do a protein rest at 120 degrees. You can hit 120 degrees, you'll see that it automatically turned the heater on to 100%. It will raise it to 120 and hold that temperature uh, for, forever. So uh, you can constantly use these manual things if you want when you're just brewing manually. You can see our timer just expired. Timer expired. And that's all it does. So you can use the simple functionality of the manual controls within BrewBoss if you don't want to get into the step files, but I highly recommend you use the automatic mode with the step files. And never, never, ever should you need to use the manual mode. Manual brew mode does not mean manual brewing. It just it stops from moving to the next brew step automatically. So I hope that helps and clears some things up about the brew modes. Thank you.